السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان بہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل السنہ والجماعہ وی پرزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر 2008 آف اور ڈیلی نصیحہ اینڈ ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے ود دا گریس اینڈ مرسی آف آل مائٹ اللہ جل ولا وی فوکس آن دا 23rd آف شوال It was on the 23rd of Shawwal, 6.33 after Hijrah, corresponding to 29th of June, 12.36, the city of Cordova, which is Kurtuba, which was under the Khilafat of the Umayyads, fell into the hands of Fernando III. We've been there with the help and mercy of Almighty Allah. If you study the history of Qurtuba, subhanallah, which which scholars came from Muslim Andalus, Muslim Spain, and you will find Tafsir Qurtubi and Allama Qurtubi's great work, which is on Tafsir. You will find that Hafiz ibn Abdul Bar al-Andalusi. You will find that, you must remember, that Ibn Muhalla, that Ibn Dusting of Muhalla, that Ibn Hazam al-Zahiri. So they all came from that part of the world. The Maliki fiqh flourished there. That masjid which is transformed and changed into a church, Allah forbid. Remember, at that time was the biggest masjid and mosque with a, with a roof and a ceiling on it. And if you look at the design and the pattern, you will see it's so similar to Masjid Nabawi. But alas, the crimes, the sins me and you commit must have an action, has reaction. So the Muslims became very, very lax. And then the Christians and the Spaniards came, took over. <coughs> True Muslims will fight till the death. But see what happens here. On this day, the 23rd of Shawwal, the city of Cordova, which was under the Umayyads, fell into the hand of Fernando III. This occurred because Muhammad ibn Yusuf left the city. So he was crying and left like a brikai baby. His mother told him also, no sense crying now. You should have fought like a man and then you should have won. So how did we lose Spain 780 plus years? Because of Taifiyah. Everybody had their fiefdoms. Everybody had their many, many empires. And kullu hizbim mima ladayhim farihun. So the central government got weaker, weaker, weaker all the time. And if you look at the ummah today, we look at the Muslim countries, Arab countries, look at ourselves. And we are in the same predicament. If you want that unity, unity will only come on truth. Anything on batil, it must perish sooner or later. Inna al-batil akana zahuqa. Wa tawasu bil haq, invite towards the truth. But when you invite towards the truth, there will be a lot of criticism. Wa tawasu bil sabr, and then you have to exhort, invite one another towards patience, endurance. That will be a test of our sincerity and ikhlas. And if you still want that unity, then remember two ingredients must be there. That's must. One is Iman, true Iman. Ya ayu al-ladhina amanu. Eighty-nine times all Mahdi Allah mentioned it. Because that is the motivating factor. And that inspires eyes to greater heights. And tawadu humility. You have to give preference to others over ourselves. Remember that. Everybody can be a leader. Everybody can be the captain. Everybody can be the amir. So tawadu means that we give others preference over ourselves for the greater cause. And that is that we want this ummah to be united on haq. Look at our enemies. We have the Shia Kufar. We have the Qadianis. We have the Agahanis. We have the apologetic people. People, the modernist and so many others as well then within our own rank we have the people who are selling out deen of islam so therefore imam shafi rahimahullah used to say always invite to the truth if you do not invite to the truth then you will be invited to batil what a great profound statement by this genius al-imam shafi'i rahimahullah therefore we make the dua ya muqallib al-qulub sabbit qalbi ala dinik ya allah you are the turner of the hearts keep us steadfast on your deen open mishkat sharif ameen assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh